What if the world you knew, the city you lived in, was shrunk down to a mere 15-minute radius around you? This is the concept of the 15-minute city, a new urban planning concept that is causing a stir in the realm of city development. Imagine this, a city where all your needs, work, shopping, education, health, culture, and leisure can be met within a 15-minute walk or bike ride from your home. This is the guiding principle of the 15-minute city, a concept that has been championed by urban planners and environmentalists alike. The 15-minute city aims to reduce carbon emissions, promote healthier lifestyles and build stronger communities. Now contrast that with a traditional city layout, where different zones are dedicated to different activities, workplaces are clustered in business districts, shopping centers are dotted around the city, and residential areas are often located on the outskirts. Commuting between these zones often requires long journeys by car or public transport, leading to traffic congestion, pollution and stress. In a traditional city there is freedom of movement. You can choose to live in one part of the city and work in another, you can shop in a different district every weekend or dine out in a new restaurant every night. There's a sense of adventure, a thrill of exploration that comes with traversing the city. The 15-minute city on the other hand, limits that freedom. It confines you to a small radius with the same shops, the same parks, the same people. While it may foster a sense of community, it also restricts diversity and spontaneity. However, proponents of the 15-minute city argue that it offers a different kind of freedom. The freedom from long commutes, from traffic jams, from the stress of city life. It gives you more time to spend with family, to pursue hobbies, to enjoy life. It promotes a slower, more sustainable way of living. So we've looked at the 15-minute city and the traditional city layout, and how they impact our freedom of movement. The traditional city offers the freedom to explore, to experience different parts of the city, and to break away from routine. But it also brings with it the stress of commuting, traffic congestion and pollution. The 15-minute city, while limiting in its geographical scope, provides the freedom from these stresses. It promotes a healthier, more sustainable lifestyle but at the same time, it restricts diversity and spontaneity. In conclusion, the concept of the 15-minute city is a bold step towards sustainable urban planning. However, it also raises important questions about freedom of movement and diversity. As we move towards the future, it is crucial to strike a balance between sustainability and freedom to create cities that are not just eco-friendly but also vibrant and diverse.